Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 37 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. There we need to find the current in each resistor for the follow-up problems for 20 for 36, right? And there one thing change is that 12 ohms resistor is shorted out. What I mean shorted out? The resistor equal to zero, so we have another wire connected at the two end of this uh, resistor. So the current will not go through this two ohms, will go through directly back, right? So how can we do that? We look at this circuit. There are three batteries, twelve volts, twelve volts, six volts. So very straightforward. We use Cherhoff's loop rule to solve it. So first we can look at this point. For this point, the current flows in is I2 and I3. The current flows out I1. So we can write I1 equal to I2 plus I3, right? And then we can draw first loop this way. As we can see, initially we have battery 12 volts, current goes through internal resistor R. So make the voltage decrease. So 12 minus I1 times R and then minus 12 times I1, right? The current goes through resistor is uh, voltage decrease. And then look at the battery, 12 volts added up. And then the current I2 goes through internal resistance R, so minus I2 times R, minus I2 times 11. And then goes back equal to zero. So this uh, 12 ohms is uh, removed, right? And the second loop we can look at there. We can see initially we have battery 12 volts, the current I2 goes through internal resistor R, so make the voltage decrease, so minus I2 times R minus I2 times 11. And there we can see the current goes through 18 ohms, is actually right, it is up. But our loop is pointing down, so opposite direction, this makes the voltage increase, so this is a plus 18 R3 plus I3 times R, and we can see the battery's direction is opposite with the loop, so there we will minus 6, and then plus 15 I3, still the loop's direction is opposite with the current direction. Now you can see we have these three equations, and we know the internal resistance R equal to 1, so we input R inside. This three equation look like there, and simplify we can see we have three equations and three quantities. We can solve these three equations to get a value for I1, I2, I3. Thank you.